fear that he does have the microphone last. Madam President. The senior senator from New Jersey. Thank you, Madam President. It is a fear that one should have as to who gets the microphone last. So, uh, but nonetheless, no need to fear. Although we, I think that that statement about the better looking is a Pinocchio on your part. So uh, in any event, but I'll, I'll stop before I get called out of order. Mr. President, uh, Madam President, it's with great urgency that I come to the floor to urge support for the confirmation of Julian Xavier Niels to be the U.S. District Court Judge in New Jersey. Uh, my distinguished colleague who knows uh, Mr. Niels extraordinarily well can speak to all the elements of him as a human being, as a lawyer, as someone who was a judge uh, at one level, and in fact uh, can be and will be an extraordinary District Court Judge. We uh, are known in New Jersey as having one of the busiest courts in the entire country. As of last year, more than 46,000 cases were pending before it, many of them among the most complex and challenging cases in the nation. Yet multiple judicial vacancies on the court have led the Judicial Conference of the United States to declare a judicial emergency. The court is short-staffed by a third, leaving each of our seated judges with a mind-boggling caseload of 2,700 pending cases. That's a caseload more than three times higher than the national average. Fortunately, uh, this week, the Senate has an opportunity to begin alleviating this judicial emergency by confirming Julian Niels to the U.S. District Court in New Jersey. Mr. Niels is an outstanding nominee who has devoted his entire career to the practice of law in the home state of New Jersey. Throughout his three decades in the legal profession, he served in many diverse roles. Every step of the way, he has impressed those around him with his integrity, sound judgment, and commitment to equal justice and fair administration of the law. He clerked on the Superior Court of New Jersey, practiced civil rights, employment discrimination, intellectual property, Law as an associate and partner at a C caucus based firm. He served the city of Newark during my distinguished colleague, Senator Booker's time as the mayor of that great city of Newark. And since 2015, has worked as counsel for Bergen County, the most populous county in all of New Jersey. As you heard, my colleague still speaks glowingly of Mr. Neal's achievements during his time as chief judge of the Newark Municipal Court how he improved the efficiency and the culture of the institution, create, created the first community court in the state of New Jersey, and in less than two years, presided over more than 6,000 cases while supervising 11 full-time judges. There's no doubt in my mind that Mr. Niels will be an asset to the U.S. District Court in New Jersey as it emerges from this pandemic and works to reduce its backlog of pending cases. He's qualified, and he was qualified to serve on the federal bench back in 2015 when President Obama first nominated him to the U.S. District Court in New Jersey. Unfortunately, the politics of the time didn't get him a vote, and he is even more qualified today. Mr. Niels already commands enormous respect in our legal community from serving on the Supreme Court of New Jersey's Committee on Character and Fitness to serving as chairman for Volunteers Lawyer for Justice, he personifies the meaning of public service. His tremendous breadth of experience, even temperament, and sound judgment make him a superb candidate to serve on the federal bench. And clearly, our colleagues on the Judiciary Committee here in the Senate came to the same conclusion when they reported him out of committee by a large bipartisan margin. New Jerseyans have waited too long for the Senate to fill this vacancy, and I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to confirm Mr. Julian Niels without further delay. I'm thrilled to join my colleague from New Jersey in advocating for him, and especially thankful to the junior senator from New Jersey for advancing his name so that justice can be realized in the state of New Jersey. With that, Madam President, I yield the floor and observe the absence of a quorum. The clerk will call the roll. Ms. Baldwin. The senator from New Jersey. Is there a pending vote now on the cloture vote?